Ball out. Mastering entrepreneurship through hoop culture. An entrepreneurial blueprint for hoopers and basketball enthusiasts. Written by Emmanuel Bope. Edited by Solange Bope. Read for you by Tim. Dedication. First and foremost, I give glory to God for providing us with the grace to make this book possible. Ball Out is dedicated to hoopernors around the world. Hoopers passionate about the game and basketball enthusiasts who embrace hoop culture and entrepreneurship. We appreciate you for embodying what it means to ball out on and off the court. Introduction. Welcome to Ball Out, a blend of business and basketball for hoopers and fans of the game. This book is not just about basketball. It's about leveraging the principles of the game to achieve success in all areas of life. Hoop culture, the undeniable link between basketball and business. Basketball is more than just a game. It is a cultural phenomenon that transcends boundaries of ethnicity, education, and professional status. From the world's most influential hip-hop icons and musicians to artists, politicians, and other public figures, the game of basketball holds a special place in the hearts of many. Take a glance at courtside seats in any NBA game, and you'll spot an array of famous faces. From Jay-Z, a titan of the music industry and business magnate, to actor and producer Mark Wahlberg, the allure of basketball is apparent. Hollywood legends like Jack Nicholson and Spike Lee are well known for their unwavering support of their favorite teams, while contemporary stars such as Drake, Two Chains, 50 Cent, and Adam Sandler showcase their love for the sport in myriad ways. These celebrities do more than just cheer from the sidelines. They integrate basketball into their personal brands and business ventures, creating a symbiotic relationship between the sport and their professional lives. Jay-Z, for instance, once held a stake in the Brooklyn Nets and has frequently leveraged his association with the NBA to enhance his business empire. Spike Lee's films often feature basketball, reflecting its impact on urban culture, while Drake's close affiliation with the Toronto Raptors has made him an unofficial ambassador for the team strengthening his brand in Canada and beyond. Basketball's influence stretches beyond the court and into various facets of society, contributing to its unique position in popular culture. It serves as a common ground where people from different walks of life can connect. The sport's appeal lies in its accessibility, whether played on a neighborhood blacktop or in a professional arena, the essence of the game remains the same. This shared experience fosters a sense of community and belonging, which is why basketball resonates with so many. The crossover between basketball and business is another fascinating aspect of this cultural phenomenon. Many players and enthusiasts have successfully ventured into entrepreneurial endeavors, using the discipline, teamwork, and strategic thinking learned on the court to excel in the business world. This trend is evident in the entrepreneurial pursuits of many former NBA players who have turned into successful businessmen, investing in startups, real estate, and entertainment. Moreover, the commercialization of basketball has opened doors for lucrative endorsements, merchandise sales, and media opportunities. Brands recognize the sport's universal appeal and often collaborate with players and celebrities to reach a broader audience. This synergy benefits both parties. Athletes and celebrities enhance their public profiles and financial portfolios, while brands capitalize on their star power to drive consumer engagement. The profound connection between basketball and various cultural spheres highlights its role as more than just a sport. It is a lifestyle, a passion, and a powerful unifying force. As we witness the continued evolution of this dynamic relationship, one thing remains clear. Basketball's influence is far-reaching, bridging gaps, and bringing people together in ways that few other cultural phenomena can. In conclusion, from hip-hop icons like Jay-Z and Drake to Hollywood stars like Jack Nicholson and Spike Lee, the world's most influential figures demonstrate that basketball transcends traditional barriers. The undeniable link between basketball and business underscores the sport's impact on global culture. For those who know, the connection is obvious and ever-present, affirming basketball's place not just as a game, but as an integral part of the cultural and business landscape. Whether you're a player looking to improve your skills on the court or an enthusiast seeking personal growth, Ball Out is here to inspire and empower you. Throughout these pages, we will explore 10 core topics that are crucial for achieving excellence, both in basketball and in life. Firstly, 
discovering your purpose is essential for finding meaning and direction in your life. We'll explore how understanding your why can drive you to greater heights and keep you motivated through challenges. Secondly, becoming the best requires continuous improvement and mastery of your craft. We'll delve into what it takes to develop and hone your skills to elite levels. Next, understanding the systems and strategies that lead to success can give you a competitive edge. We'll examine how to leverage existing systems and create your own to achieve sustainable success. Setting clear goals and creating an actionable plan is crucial for achieving your dreams. We'll discuss how to map out your path to success and stay focused on your objectives. Discipline is the cornerstone of achievement. We'll explore the habits and mindset necessary to stay disciplined and consistently put in the work required to succeed. Execution separates the dreamers from the doers. We'll learn how to execute your plans effectively and efficiently to maximize your chances of success. Achieving big dreams requires taking massive action. We'll discuss how to set audacious goals and take bold steps towards making them a reality. Believing in yourself and your abilities is essential for overcoming obstacles. We'll explore the power of faith and resilience in achieving your goals. Your physical and mental well-being are crucial for sustained success. We'll discuss strategies for maintaining optimal wellness to perform at your best. Throughout each chapter, you will find practical advice, inspirational stories, and actionable steps that will empower you to apply these principles to your own life. Whether you're looking to improve your basketball skills, advance your career, or enhance your personal life, Ball Out is your guide to achieving greatness. Let's dive in and discover how basketball can be more than just a game. It can be a powerful tool for personal and professional success. This book imparts the experience of the wealthiest NBA and WNBA players, hooperneurs who mostly started from the bottom with nothing but big hoop dreams. With time, they dedicated themselves to the game and unconsciously engraved the 10 principles shared in this book in their subconscious. These 10 principles were repeated so often that they became second nature to these now superstar hoopers. As they fulfilled their hoop dreams, they manifested the entire philosophy of money-making and success. Our book describes what to do and also how to do it. That being said, the act of putting these principles into practice is up to each hooper. The 10 principles provide you with a perfect blueprint and system of self-analysis that will promptly expose the path towards the success you wish to achieve in life, on and off the court. This famous blueprint or formula of personal achievement by which many NBA and WNBA greats have accumulated hundreds of millions of dollars on and off the court is simple but effective. These 10 invaluable principles we learn from the game are mindset, purpose, skill mastery, system insight, action plan, discipline, execution, massive action, faith, and wellness. Perhaps you've been applying these principles on the court all along without connecting the transferable nature of these principles to the business world. Nevertheless, these principles are proven. As you read further into this book, you will find the stimulus to achieve your dreams, as it will become clear that the process of achievement is concrete and duplicatable. Witnessing the success of hooperneurs around the world empowered us to share the astounding secret of their success process. The investment that went into the formulation of this book, including research, documentation, interviewing, etc., covers decades of business and entrepreneurship experience, and probably more in the art of achieving success. Though money and material things are motivators for many, our focus here is to inspire the mind and encourage hooperneurs to obtain and contribute to the greatest of all riches, family, friendship, and legacy. All who read, understand, and apply the hooperneur philosophy of balling out and implement the 10 principles will be better prepared to achieve and enjoy the higher estates of life. Be ready as you expose yourself to the influence of balling out and the philosophy of hooperneurism. If you commit to taking the 10 principles mentioned in this book seriously and living a hooperneur lifestyle, the teachings in this book will help you not only to navigate your way to multifaceted success in your life, but also to subsequently offer you the ability to gain abundance. That's what it means to ball out. In Chapter 1, you will be introduced to the first principle, Mindset. This represents the cognitive processes activated to manifest our desires through consciousness. 
These are the beliefs, ideals, concepts, and notions that we hold in our minds and that orient the way we act, react, and experience our lives. In Chapter 2, you'll be introduced to the second principle, purpose. The reason for what we do and for which we are created. This is the central motivating aim of your life. In Chapter 3, you'll be introduced to the third principle, skill mastery. The recognition of one's specialized knowledge and skill set. The gift that allows you to do, use, or understand a craft at a supreme level. In Chapter 4, you'll be introduced to the fourth principle, System Insight. This refers to default capabilities we gain via the system of education, experience, and knowledge sharing. These heighten our capacity to forecast, predict, and pivot within a system. In Chapter 5, you'll be introduced to the fifth principle, Action Plan. This is a detailed strategy or course of action outlining steps that need to be reached to succeed. In Chapter 6, you'll be introduced to the sixth principle, Discipline. This is your ability to rule and govern your behaviors and thoughts in order to conduct specific patterns that are the habit of success. In Chapter 7, you'll be introduced to the seventh principle, Execution. The carrying out or putting into effect of a plan, order, or course of action. This is the implementation and operation of an action plan. In Chapter 8, you'll be introduced to the eighth principle, Massive Action. This is a high level of activity, a consistent output of effort, whereby exceeding productivity determines high results. In Chapter 9, you'll be introduced to the ninth principle, Faith. The optimistic state of mind is founded on an unwavering expectation of positive outcomes with respect to your life. This is the complete trust in a higher power and the confidence in greatness and good timing over your life. Ultimately, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Finally, in Chapter 10, you'll be introduced to the Tenth Principle, Wellness. This is your well-being physically, mentally, and spiritually. It is the state of being in good health, of being comfortable and happy. Mindset. Success is not an accident. Success is actually a choice. Stephen Curry. Mindset is everything. We will discuss the power of mindset and how it shapes your beliefs, your actions, and ultimately, your success. In Chapter 1, you will be introduced to the first principle, mindset. This represents the cognitive process is activated to manifest our desires through consciousness. These are the beliefs, ideals, concepts, and notions that we hold in our minds and that orient the way we act, react, and experience our lives. In the game of basketball and in life, the single most powerful tool you have at your disposal is your mindset. Your mindset shapes your beliefs, guides your actions, and ultimately determines your success. The principle is simple. You are what you think. This chapter will explore how adopting a positive, growth-oriented mindset can transform your life using examples from NBA players who have achieved remarkable success both on and off the court. Take Jimmy Butler, for instance. Known for his relentless work ethic and determination, Butler's journey to the NBA wasn't easy. Coming from a challenging background, he had every reason to give up, but his mindset kept him pushing forward. He often speaks about his belief in hard work and perseverance, attributes that have propelled him to multiple all-star selections and a reputation as one of the league's toughest competitors. Off the court, Butler has leveraged his positive mindset to venture into business, including investments in his coffee brand, demonstrating how the right mindset can lead to diverse successes. Similarly, Steph Curry is renowned for his confidence and unwavering belief in his abilities. Despite being underestimated early in his career due to his size and unconventional playing style, Curry's mindset never wavered. His focus and self-belief helped revolutionize the game with his exceptional shooting skills. Off the court, Curry's mindset has driven his success in media production and technology investments, proving that a strong, positive mindset can create opportunities beyond one's primary field. Andre Iguodala and Kevin Love also exemplify the power of mindset. Iguodala, known for his intelligence and strategic thinking on the court, has transitioned these skills into successful tech investments and a venture capital firm. Love has openly discussed his struggles with mental health, advocating for a positive mindset towards mental wellness. His advocacy work has not only helped countless individuals, 
but also demonstrated the importance of a balanced and growth-oriented mindset. Shifting from a fixed to a growth mindset involves recognizing that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. Here are some tangible steps to make this shift. First, embrace challenges. Instead of avoiding challenges, view them as opportunities to grow. Just like an NBA player works through tough games and intense training, tackle life's obstacles head on. Second, learn from criticism. Constructive feedback is a tool for improvement. Instead of taking criticism personally, use it to enhance your skills and strategies. Third, celebrate effort. Acknowledge the hard work you put in, regardless of the immediate outcome. Success is a result of consistent effort over time. Fourth, persist through setbacks. Understand that setbacks are part of the journey. Use them as learning experiences and motivation to keep pushing forward. Finally, shift your identity. Think of your life like NBA 2K, where you are the main character. Your mind is the controller, and the decisions you make shape your path. Approach life with the mindset of a player who knows that practice, strategy, and resilience lead to success. To transform from a consumer to a creator, start by changing how you see your role in the world. Instead of merely consuming content, products, or services, think about how you can contribute and create value. First, identify your passion. Find what excites you and how you can turn that passion into something productive. Next, set goals. Define what you want to achieve and create a plan to get there. Whether it's starting a business, writing a book, or developing a new skill, having clear goals gives you direction. Take action without waiting for the perfect moment. Start creating, even if it's small steps. The key is to begin and keep moving forward. Finally, build a network. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who inspire and challenge you. Collaboration often leads to greater creativity and success. The mindset you choose to adopt will determine the course of your life. By embracing a positive, growth-oriented mindset, you can achieve remarkable success both on and off the court. Remember, like in NBA 2K, you are the main character of your life, and your mind is the controller. The results you achieve are based on your decisions and your ability to play the game. Make every move count, and watch how your mindset transforms your world. Your mindset impacts your life. The mindset you hold regarding your entrepreneurial or success vision is reflected in your behavior and the results that you achieve. This mindset shapes how you approach life and governs your behavior, ultimately affecting how you experience your dream or not. Your mindset permeates through your attitude and dictates how you treat others, the way you live, and the decisions you make. In the context of hoopreneurism, the beliefs you hold in your mind make or break your potential to realize your biggest dreams. The best example of the importance and power of mindset is the great Kobe Bryant. All true hoopers are familiar with the Mamba mentality and how this philosophy, based on the relentless pursuit of excellence, set Kobe Bryant apart on and off the court. In Kobe's own words, Mamba mentality meant trying to be the best version of yourself. It means every day you're trying to make yourself better. To one who views their life from this kind of lens, success is unavoidable because it is a matter of time, not effort nor lack of belief. In other words, your success is determined by whether or not you think it's possible. Kevin Garnett would assert anything is possible. Though brief, this simple adage reinforces the power of perspective. Stanford University Psychology, Professor Carol Dweck suggests that our mindset changes our reality. In her research findings, Dweck presents two kinds of mindsets, growth and fixed. People with fixed mindsets share the belief that their qualities are natural, fixed, and unalterable. However, those with a growth mindset perceive their abilities can develop and be strengthened through constant action towards progress. One of Derek Rose's most infamous quotes is, All the days that you wake up, you have one job, and that's to get better every single day. In the context of mindset types, it is evident that Rose has a growth mindset, and his success is a fine example of the heights of excellence which can be achieved by hoopers with a growth mindset. As a hoopernor, do you have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset? The ball out mantra is evidently a growth mindset call to action. The foundation of hoopernerism is based on a growth mindset. Studies in social and developmental psychology have indicated that the way we think about ourselves and our abilities shapes our lives. 
the research shows that our attitude affects the way we feel and affects what we achieve. When we apply these research indications to our collective research project, comparing old school NBA players and professional basketball players of the new era, we found had an overwhelming number of millennials have growth mindsets. Compared to older generations, the new generation of hoopers has a very optimistic belief in what is possible for them, not only on the court but off the court as well. Millennial hoopers, often labeled as Generation Y, are the demographic cohort following Generation X and preceding Generation Z. Any hooper born between 1981 and 1996, ages 23 to 38 in 2019, Hoopreneurs born in this cohort have a growth mindset and believe that any dream can be achieved over time through hard work. These findings are confirmed by the number of personal brands we can see coming out of the NBA and WNBA today. Many more professional hoopers are utilizing basketball as a platform to engage their hoopreneurial endeavors. Because most young hoopers grew up witnessing the greatness of ballers such as Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, and Kevin Durant, the mindset of establishing businesses and legacies beyond basketball is second nature. Remember, the first step to actualizing your hoop dreams, be it on or off the court, is to have a success-oriented mindset. Ultimately, our mindset regarding our abilities, identity, and environment affects the interpretative process we use to define what is going on in our lives. Fixed minds are cynical and misguided, and they believe things will never change for them. Because of the impact of stereotypical mainstream media propaganda of the jock, it is understandable that some hoopers may feel that being an entrepreneur or achieving success outside of sport isn't in their DNA, but it is. Regrettably, fixed minds equate their possibility with what others or the system have deemed possible for them within the label of an athlete. But as Braun always says, we are more than just athletes. You must have an unwavering mindset that can visualize your greatness despite the unbelief of others. Another perfect example of a growth mindset is Shaq. Shaq has seemingly endorsed almost everything on the planet. We've been accustomed to seeing Shaquille O'Neal to the point that some of us have probably jokingly placed bets among each other to guess which brand would grace us with Shaq's presence. Shaq is undeniably one of the most recognized former pro athletes of all time and one of the most influential personal brands ever. Simply put, Shaquille O'Neal took ownership of the brand of fun. Despite his humongous empire of franchises and other investments, Shaq has continued to build up his brand. You've more chances than not to have seen him on TV, pitching anything from Gold Bond and Icy Hot to Oreos and Donuts. Regardless of the brand Shaq represents, his brand continues to be larger than life and always comes across any medium. Shaq always had a vision to be seen as a superhero. Regardless of what others thought, he maintained the mindset that his vision was possible. In fact, he candidly shared in one of his interviews that upon return to college, his marketing professor asked his class to create brands that people would want to buy. Being the visionary that he is, Shaq came back to class with Shaq shoes, socks, a Shaq shirt, etc. He later said, My professor gave me an F because at the time he couldn't see my vision. If I'd listened to him, who knows where I'd be today? Today, Shaq makes well over $50 million dollars in endorsements, so you need to have a vision of where you see your brand and stick with it. Just because others can't see the value in your vision and brand doesn't mean the market won't. Shaq mentioned that he wanted to be that guy to make people laugh, and he has certainly succeeded in doing so. The evidence of his successful brand engineering is present in the countless social media memes and reposts of his charismatic personality. Though we are incredibly entertained by the amazing persona that Shaquille O'Neal has managed to showcase, we are more importantly mesmerized by the amazing brand, influence, and portfolio he's built. So if you want to be a successful hoopreneur, you have to have a mindset that matches the size of your dreams. In that spirit of thought, Percy Miller, popularly known as Master P, has accomplished much more than most could imagine possible. Beyond his success in sports and entertainment, Miller has also seen notable success as a filmmaker, investor, and business consultant. When interviewed by Forbes, Miller stressed the importance of generational wealth as the purpose behind everything he does. His reason for doing all that he does is to mold future millionaires. It's not about how much money you have or make, but rather it's about the mindset you have, he stated. If you're broke in the mind, you will be broke. Therefore, if you're rich in the mind, you'll be able to be rich in life.
Ken Dickinson, the president of Fast Break Executive Coaching, has long echoed the sentiments of many hooperneurs that mindset is a secret tool used by elite hoopers to succeed, particularly in the form of deliberate visualization. Dickinson gave a powerful TED Talk in which he talked about the secrets of elite athletes. Whilst jokingly expressing his delight in having a front row seat on the bench, witnessing the greatness of many hoopers, he shared some deep insight. In high research, Dickinson found that two primary habits were responsible for the success of elite athletes, visualization and deliberate practice, or what he termed specific work. Though we will cover the importance of massive action and execution in the later portion of the book, it is important to note that Dickinson's observations are predicated on one's mindset, one's ability to visualize one's success. The inspiring takeaway is that anyone can apply these tools to build better lives and achieve the success they truly desire. What you think about, you bring about. Purpose. It's the one thing you can control. You are responsible for how people remember you or don't, so don't take it lightly. Kobe Bryant. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of purpose, understanding your why and how it drives your actions both in basketball and beyond. In chapter two, you'll be introduced to the second principle, purpose. The reason for what we do and for which we are created. This is the central motivating aim of your life. In the journey of life in basketball, understanding your purpose is paramount. Purpose is the driving force that fuels your actions, keeps you focused, and helps you overcome obstacles. It's the reason you get up in the morning, the motivation behind every practice, and the passion that pushes you to excel. This chapter explores the importance of purpose, understanding your why, and how it drives your actions both on and off the court. Having a clear purpose is essential because it provides direction and meaning to your efforts. It helps you stay committed during tough times and ensures that your actions align with your long-term goals. Purpose is what differentiates those who merely participate from those who excel and make a lasting impact. Patrick Beverly's path to the NBA is a testament to the power of purpose. Despite being overlooked and doubted, Beverly persevered because of his deep-rooted why. He played overseas and fought his way into the NBA. Driven by a desire to save his family from financial hardship, and to prove his worth to the world. Beverly's relentless energy and defensive prowess on the court are direct reflections of his unwavering purpose. Ice Cube's creation of the Big Three League is another powerful example of purpose in action. Facing numerous challenges, including resistance from the NBA, Ice Cube pursued his vision of establishing the first black-owned professional basketball league. His purpose was to impact the community positively and provide opportunities for players, coaches, and fans alike. The success of the Big Three League, despite the obstacles, highlights how a strong purpose can drive innovation and change. Kiri Irving and Isaiah Thomas have both faced significant adversity in their careers, yet their purpose kept them moving forward. Irving, often criticized by the media, made bold moves like ending his shoe deal with Nike to partner with Anta and build his brand, Herkai and I, aiming to inspire the world through his journey. Isaiah Thomas, written off by many due to injuries, continued to play with heart and determination, driven by his love for the game and desire to prove his worth. Their stories illustrate how purpose can help you withstand criticism and emerge stronger. Draymond Green's venture into the media space, coining the term new media, showcases his commitment to providing an authentic player's perspective on the NBA. Despite facing pushback and criticism, Green's purpose of sharing genuine insights and influencing the narrative around basketball drove him to succeed. His efforts have paved the way for other players to share their voices, underscoring the transformative power of a clear purpose. To harness the power of purpose in your own life, start by identifying your why. Reflect on what drives you and what you are passionate about. Here are some steps to help you integrate purpose into your actions. First, define your purpose. Take time to understand what motivates you. What are you passionate about? What impact do you want to make? Write down your purpose and keep it visible. Next, set goals aligned with your purpose. Ensure that your goals align with your purpose. This alignment will keep you focused and motivated. Stay committed during challenging times by remembering why you started and let that drive you forward. Seek inspiration from others who have achieved success through their purpose. Learn from their journeys and apply those lessons to your own path. 
regularly reflect on your progress and make adjustments as needed. Purpose is not static. It can evolve as you grow. Purpose is the cornerstone of success in basketball and life. It provides the motivation and direction needed to overcome challenges and achieve greatness. Whether you're inspired by Patrick Beverly's determination, Ice Cube's innovation, Kyrie Irving and Isaiah Thomas's resilience, or Draymond Green's authenticity, let their stories fuel your own journey. Remember, this is why you do it. Your purpose is your power. Embrace it, act on it, and let it guide you to success. The ultimate happiness in life is being aligned with your purpose. When you align yourself with your divine mission of life, everything you do is based on impact and legacy. Often, purpose is hard to explain because it is not tangible. Many hoopreneurs would define it as doing what makes what makes you feel good inside. Simply put, it is to add value to others and to have your existence make a difference in the lives of those you love in the world. Knowing your purpose and fulfilling it is the real journey of life. For us, our personal motivations are the general purpose and standard upon which our desires and will are founded. Yes, the actions we take in life are predicated on our why. Jalen Rose often mentions that one of his prime motivations was to get out of the hood, to be in a better environment, and to help his family break the cycle of poverty. When interviewed on Uninterrupted, Rose said, I wanted to move out of the hood. I was like, if I get a chance, I'm going to lift my family. I'm going to change the dynamic. I'm going to change the game. I'm going to leave the hood and give back to it. This subtle yet essential overruling mantra of changing the dynamic of his life allowed Jalen Rose to achieve success off the court. Rose's modus operandi has always been to be a hoopreneur focused on legacy. This means that his deep reason was connected to significance, and this powerful human need propelled him toward success. Our purpose enables us to will ourselves past our darkest moments, shining the light of our vision and destiny over the dark sky of doubt. If our purpose is the motivation that drives our actions, then our behavior is fueled by our passion, the strong and barely controllable emotion that gives us more energy to move forward. It is the mental and spiritual fuel that drives our physiological motion. Your purpose is the moral foundation of your reasoning. Once you define it, your passion ignites. Briefly, a strong purpose sparks a wild passion. Our purpose is the reason we want to get in the direction, while passion fueled by this purpose is the force that physically boosts us. Though follow your passion is one of the most frequently repeated words of wisdom in sports and pop culture, our experiences have led us to discover that the most successful hoopreneurs were successful, not because they followed their passion, but because they, consciously or subconsciously, had a deep purpose. Please don't take this the wrong way. Passion is important. That said, if passion is not motivated by a strong purpose, it will fade away like the light of a candle in the wind. As a hoopreneur, your purpose gives you resilience, and that is what will get you ahead. We believe that hustle is based on purpose, and the more meaningful our reason for doing things, the greater our passion will become. Thus, we will have more energy to act upon our desires because all of the aforementioned are working in unison and generating good outwards and inwards, physiologically, spiritually, and mentally. Raised in what was once considered among the most dangerous neighborhoods in America, Percy Miller saw very few examples of prosperity beyond those in the streets hustling to make a living. Still, he pushed through various adverse conditions because he had a strong purpose. Pursuing his vision for a better life, Miller used his purpose to power his passion for music and basketball as the means to create opportunity. I come from a poor culture of people. Nobody in my family had money, Miller told Forbes, during an exclusive interview talking about generational wealth. I had to break the negative cycle and pass that on to my kids. In order to go through all the trials and tribulations you will have to overcome to obtain your desired end goal, you will need to have persistence, patience, and resilience. The way these great hoopreneurs managed to surmount their adversities was by having a strong purpose. For those qualities to be developed in you, you need to have a strong why. Take a moment to ask yourself, what is your why? Be introspective about your reason for being here on this planet. What's God's purpose for you in this world? It does not need to be as deep as it seems. Just be honest and think about what touches your heart and which area of life naturally attracts your attention and focus. Some may believe this reason is our destiny. 
and others may find it to be simply serendipity. But regardless of whether you believe in predestination, evolution, or just happenstance, it is evident that our universe works in accordance with laws. These divine, natural, and scientific laws drive our experiences here on this planet. Each of us is affected by the system and consciously chooses to allow governance in our lives. Having a purpose makes it impossible to merely exist. That's why it is appealing and imperative to find your reason for being here. We believe that life is not random, but of greater significance than just death itself. What do you live for? The point is not to be morbid, but instead to recognize that our purpose is important. Know your why, and you know your purpose. The bottom line is that finding your purpose is the basis of living a fulfilling life. Living a fulfilling life is a catalyst to happiness. Feeling happy because we do something that brings impact and builds a legacy. Feeling happy because we are significant and confident in who we are and what we believe we are. The purpose of your life permeates your being when you connect your thoughts, words, and actions. Therefore, success is knowing your purpose in life, growing to reach your maximum potential, and hustling for the benefit of your future and that of your loved ones. When you see what you're here for, the world begins to mirror your purpose. Skill Mastery I'm going to use all my tools, my God-given ability, and make the best life I can with it. LeBron James Skill Mastery is a lifelong pursuit. We will cover strategies and techniques to continually improve your basketball skills and perform at the highest level. In Chapter 3, you'll be introduced to the third principle, Skill Mastery, the recognition of one's specialized knowledge and skill set. The gift that allows you to do, use, or understand a craft at a supreme level. Skill mastery is a lifelong pursuit. In basketball and beyond, the dedication to continually improving your abilities sets the foundation for excellence. This chapter will cover strategies and techniques to refine your skills and perform at the highest level, drawing on the experiences of some of the most skilled players in the NBA as well as examples of how mastering skills on the court can translate to success off the court. Steph Curry is widely regarded as the greatest shooter of all time. His journey to mastering his craft is a testament to the power of relentless practice and refinement. Curry's dedication to honing his shooting skills, his meticulous attention to detail, and his unwavering commitment to improvement have made him an undeniable master of his craft. His ability to consistently perform at an elite level has not only elevated his brand value on the court, but also allowed him to leverage his influence off the court, venturing into successful business endeavors and philanthropic efforts. Kiri Irving is another player whose skill mastery is evident in his exceptional ball handling and finishing abilities. Irving's handles are legendary, and his capacity to control the ball and execute intricate moves at high speeds sets him apart from his peers. His dedication to refining these skills through countless hours of practice has made him one of the most exciting players to watch and a formidable opponent on the court. Irving's skill mastery also extends beyond basketball as he uses his platform to inspire and engage with communities, demonstrating how excellence in one area can influence others. Dennis Rodman is a prime example of a player who mastered the dirty work aspects of basketball, rebounds, blocks, defense, and hustle. Rodman's commitment to these often overlooked skills carved out a unique space for him in the NBA. His ability to consistently outwork and outthink his opponents in these areas made him an invaluable asset to his teams. Rodman's mastery of these gritty aspects of the game illustrates that excellence isn't limited to scoring points, but encompasses all facets of play. His career is a powerful reminder that dedication to mastering any skill no matter how unglamorous, can lead to extraordinary success. The desire to master a part of the game is translatable to other domains. Many former NBA players have successfully transitioned to careers as analysts, commentators, and media personalities, showcasing their ability to refine and apply their skills in new arenas. Matt Barnes, Richard Jefferson, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, Jay Williams, Neka Ogwumike, Candace Parker and Chinese Agua Mike are notable examples. Their ability to dissect games, provide insightful analysis, and engage audiences stems from the same dedication to skill mastery they displayed on the court. By continually refining their communication and analytical skills, 
they have carved out successful post-playing careers in media. Mastering any skill requires a strategic approach. Here are some key strategies to help you on your journey to skill mastery. Dedicate regular time to practice your skills, as consistency is key to improvement. Break down complex skills into smaller, manageable parts, and work on them individually to allow for more precise improvement. Seek constructive criticism from coaches, mentors, or peers to provide valuable insights into areas that need improvement. Continuously seek out new techniques, strategies, and knowledge related to your skill. Staying curious keeps you engaged and constantly learning. Practice mindfulness, visualization, and other mental techniques to enhance your performance, as mental strength is as important as physical ability. View setbacks and failures as learning opportunities. Each failure brings you one step closer to mastery. Define what you want to achieve and set specific, measurable goals to guide your practice sessions. Skill mastery is a relentless pursuit that requires dedication, consistency, and a willingness to continuously improve. Whether you're inspired by the shooting prowess of Steph Curry, the ball-handling wizardry of Kiri Irving, or the gritty determination of Dennis Rodman, the principles of skill mastery remain the same. Excellence on the court can translate to success off the court, as evidenced by the many players who have transitioned to new careers while continuing to refine their skills. Remember, they only want the best, and becoming the best requires a commitment to mastering your craft, no matter the arena. Embrace the journey, refine your skills, and let your dedication to mastery guide you to greatness. Successful hooperneurs have a strong sense of self-worth and self-awareness. The greatest thing in the world is to be confident in one's abilities and in oneself. Know who you are and your strengths, and hone your ability. Gary Vaynerchuk, entrepreneur, author, speaker, hooper, and expert in social media marketing, often preaches the importance of discovering what you're good at. Figure out what you like to do and what you can get paid for, and scale it. In this social media-driven world, it is becoming increasingly difficult for most people to express themselves as they are in their true nature. However, according to Gary V, knowing what makes you unique is the X factor. Self-awareness requires self-examination. This means a thorough and genuine analysis of your strengths and weaknesses as it pertains to your purpose and gifts. Be aware, though, that an honest, non-judgmental self-analysis is not easy. We tend to criticize ourselves for our failings or fantasize about how great we are when neither is the case. We all have a unique mix of skills and vices, which is normal. What most people are unaware of, however, is their gifts. In order to self-reflect objectively, we need to quiet our minds and open our hearts. Hooperneurs must engage in high self-awareness as it is a solid predictor of their own success. If you choose to master and cater to your natural strengths in life, you will be successful. Hooperneurs know what they are good at, and they use it to add value. While most hooperneurs in the NBA are keen on becoming investors and business moguls, following the footsteps of the likes of Kobe, LeBron, Magic Joseph, and Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin is paving his own path. Though Griffin is an entrepreneur, he focuses his time off-court honing his comedic talent. Griffin gravitated toward comedy naturally as a kid. When Griffin made his first appearance on a highly anticipated Comedy Central debut, the crowd erupted in rapturous applause. Griffin continued, I have to get one thing off my chest, he said. I can see all of you out there, with your judging little eyes, thinking this guy is not a comedian, that I'm just a dumb, stupid-ass athlete. I know all of you think that. The crowd laughed and Griffin masterfully showcased his comedic shops during his set. In his second career act, Griffin is preparing himself to enter and dominate in the realm of comedy. He is using his strengths and monetizing his talent outside of the basketball court. Two other examples of hooperneurs who know their skills are JaVale McGee and Damian Lillard. Both these hoopers are successful entrepreneurs and investors. That being said, their focus post-basketball is music. Javali's health-oriented mindset led him to indulge in activities that nourish his soul as much as his mind and body. Music brings happiness to Javali, and following his passion has made him a budding music producer. In fact, he has recently been nominated for a Grammy Award. Justin Bieber's 2020 album Changes was nominated for a Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Album, 
which means McGee also was the recipient of the nomination for his contribution with respect to songwriting and production on Bieber's single, Available. When you follow your heart and do what makes you happy, good things eventually happen. Similarly, before his hoop dreams became a reality, Damian Lillard dreamt of rocking the mic. When interviewed by XXL, Lillard shared that hip-hop was his childhood passion. Creating music comes naturally to Dame Dalla, and he is mastering his craft to scale. In order to identify your gifts, you need to look for patterns. You need to qualify how you learn, through visuals, audio, or tactile learning, and maximize your skill set by fast-tracking your mastery through your learning style. It also means understanding your emotions and moods, and determining what gets you in the highest peak. Instead of trying to increase a standard skill at a moderate level, focus on maximizing an above-average skill set to an elite level. Your state of joy and free-flowing zone is usually the connection to your natural gift. Once you know what your natural gift is, outside of the court, master it by applying the deliberate, extensive practice of your natural gift. For instance, Hooperneur Dwayne Wade is known through sports and pop culture as a fashion icon. Building his fashion legacy took time. Wade discovered a natural aptitude he had for connecting colors, style, fit, and fabric to express it through style. He mastered his craft by deliberately practicing his fashion sense. Like anything in life, it's great to be honored for what you do, but now I'd rather spark a conversation about fashion. People gave me so much flack about those looks, he admitted while chuckling with GQ magazine. Because of Wade, others such as Kelly Oubre and Russell Westbrook also made a name for themselves in fashion. During an exclusive interview at Fashion Week New York, Kelly said, I wanted to be someone like that, who could just capture emotion and feeling with an outfit. Beyond showcasing the multifaceted nature of hoopers, Uber exemplifies the potential of investing in your gift. Similarly, Russell Westbrook has an innate sense of style that's garnered him an audience far beyond the hoops and professional sports. It is arguable that Westbrook single-handedly brought competitive dressing to new heights. Much like Wade, Westbrook has also refined his keen sense of style and maximized his talent by turning his style into a flourishing brand and successful business. Stephen A. Smith, once a baller in high school and college, exemplifies the power of skill mastery. Although his basketball talents did not propel him to NBA stardom, Smith's exceptional speaking and communication skills paved the way for an iconic career as an analyst and sports show anchor. His incisive commentary and vibrant personality have made him a significant influencer and presence in hoop culture. Smith's journey from the court to the studio demonstrates how mastering a different set of skills can lead to success and impact. His ability to analyze the game and engage audiences has solidified his status as a key figure in sports media illustrating that skill mastery in any domain can open doors to unparalleled opportunities. We believe that if you find out what your natural talent is and put in the effort to deliberately practice, success is inevitable. Malcolm Gladwell, journalist, author, and public speaker, suggests that the 10 hour rule can accelerate mastery. Similarly, our observation has shown that the quantity, in terms of time spent practicing, is only effective for mastery when applied in an area of natural talent. We believe that when hooperneurs find their respective talents and exert a massive amount of effort and time to better their craft, they do. We also believe that those who choose to master their craft elevate their skill to an elite level. System insight. Never worry about the problem. Worry about the solution. Shaquille O'Neal. Understanding the systems and structures in basketball and life that contribute to success is crucial. We will uncover how successful individuals leverage systems to their advantage. In Chapter 4, you'll be introduced to the fourth principle, System Insight. This refers to default capabilities we gain via the system of education, experience, and knowledge sharing. These heighten our capacity to forecast, predict, and pivot within a system. Understanding the systems and structures in basketball and life that contribute to success is crucial. The most successful individuals are those who recognize, navigate, and leverage these systems to their advantage. This chapter will uncover how players and entrepreneurs alike use their insight into systems to excel, with a focus on Kobe Bryant, Mark Cuban, Steve Ballmer, and LeBron James as prime examples.
Kobe Bryant was not just a phenomenal athlete, but a strategic genius who understood the system of basketball down to its finest details. Kobe's meticulous study of the game, analyzing opponents, memorizing their tendencies, and mastering the fundamentals allowed him to gain a competitive edge on the court. His dedication to understanding and exploiting the system made him one of the greatest players of all time. Post-retirement, Kobe applied this same principle of in-depth study to his business ventures. He immersed himself in the industries he entered, learning the intricacies of storytelling, production, and venture capitalism, leading to significant success before his untimely and tragic passing. Kobe's approach demonstrates that mastery of a system, whether in sports or business, is a key to achieving excellence. Mark Cuban and Steve Ballmer exemplify how understanding and revamping systems can transform an organization. Both owners recognize that the culture and operational systems of their basketball teams significantly impacted player performance and the overall success of the franchise. Cuban, with the Dallas Mavericks, and Ballmer, with the Los Angeles Clippers, overhauled their team environments, focusing on cutting-edge facilities, player amenities, and organizational support. These changes not only elevated their team's performance, but also made them attractive destinations for NBA superstars and fans. By leveraging their insight into how organizational systems affect outcomes, Cuban and Ballmer have increased their franchise's values and set new standards for team management in professional sports. LeBron James is often described as a basketball savant with an unparalleled basketball IQ. His ability to read defenses, anticipate plays, and execute both offensive and defensive strategies makes him a system unto himself. LeBron's deep understanding of the game's mechanics and his ability to adapt and dominate within any system has been a cornerstone of his illustrious career. Off the court, LeBron has applied this systemic thinking to revolutionize sports management. Alongside his friend and agent Rich Paul, LeBron co-founded Clutch Sports, a sports agency that has redefined athlete representation. By leveraging his understanding of the sports business ecosystem, LeBron has empowered athletes, changed contract negotiations, and influenced league dynamics, further solidifying his legacy as a game changer both on and off the court. Understanding systems is not limited to the realm of professional sports. Whether it's basketball, business, or another industry, take the time to understand the systems in place. Learn the rules, the key players, and the underlying mechanics. Find the aspects of the system where you can have the most impact and focus on these areas to maximize your influence and effectiveness. Use your understanding of the system to adapt your strategies and innovate, setting yourself apart from others who are merely following the status quo. Surround yourself with knowledgeable and influential people who understand the system, as collaboration can amplify your ability to navigate and leverage the system effectively. Remember that systems evolve, so keep learning and stay updated on changes within the system to maintain your competitive edge. The rich get richer because they understand and leverage the systems that govern success. Whether it's Kobe Bryant's detailed study of basketball, Mark Cuban and Steve Ballmer's transformation of team culture, or LeBron James's mastery of basketball and sports management, the ability to navigate and exploit systems is a critical component of success. By studying, adapting, and innovating within these frameworks, you too can achieve excellence in your chosen field. Embrace the power of system insight and let it guide your journey to greatness. Those who gain system insight have the ability to make the best decisions. When you understand the inner workings of the society, market and institutions in which you live, you are better educated to critically assess and direct your actions in business and your personal life. More broadly, having financial literacy or business knowledge, for instance, is the perfect foundation for anyone seeking to excel in entrepreneurship. True power is in your system awareness level. This does not necessarily mean formal education. What system insight means to us is experience and insider information about your desired domain of mastery. All hooperners who have experienced success are system veterans. They also usually shadow a mentor they admire, a system veteran who has gained the level of success they wish to obtain. Magic Johnson has often expressed his gratitude to Jerry Buss for being a business system veteran. Likewise, LeBron James has benefited from the wealth of wisdom shared with him by Warren Buffett. Shaq recently gave an interview where he said, I know what you're getting ready to ask me. 
Where did I get my business acumen from? I got it from two people. Magic Johnson is one of them. Shaq also acknowledged Shark Tank investor and business mogul Damon John as one of his guides. The NBA legend and now business tycoon added, So I'm doing my little thing, own my clothing line, and I'm looking at the numbers. I see FUBU, and their numbers are killing my numbers. Now I'm like, man, who are these FUBU cats? I started watching them, and I learned a lot. We met, you always took care of me, and you always gave me knowledge. You and Magic helped me get started. Having an experienced person to learn from is the best way to fast-track success. Though personal system veteranship is invaluable, so is knowledge gained from alternative means such as YouTube. The internet and social media have provided a tool that is a paradigm shift for those who truly are ambitious. If you want to gain insight about the system, the information is available. You just need to look for it and ask the right questions. Similar to Magic and Shaq, Andre Iguodala became a tech investor and financial system veteran to other players such as Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, and Jalen Brown. System veterans encourage and enable hoopreneurs to develop professionally with the right business instincts, etiquette, know-how, and overall understanding of entrepreneurship. A system veteran is like a coach who can help focus their efforts by setting goals and giving feedback. All great hoopreneurs have a coach. Who's your business coach? Like her NBA counterparts, WNBA hoopreneur Candace Parker is known to have benefited from the business system veteraning of Kobe Bryant. When you're aware of your own unique characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses and have knowledge of how to utilize your strengths within a particular system, you can succeed. Hoopreneurs must be able to master their ability to have an awareness of people around them, for sure, but more importantly, the system in which they operate. In order to succeed, we need to know how to navigate the system with our abilities. We need to know what game we are playing, what the rules are, and how to defend our interests as well as attack our objectives. In our experience, the most successful hoopreneurs set a target for the degree of insight they intend to obtain within the system. Beyond knowing the system, hoopreneurs must also prepare an action plan which will be executed to achieve success. Having a system veteran also gives you connections, networks, and support. Understanding the technical aspects, the structural rules of the world we live in gives you a significant advantage. Emotional intelligence is as important as understanding the system. Having the insight to recognize human habits, relationships, and patterns helps hoopreneurs establish important relationships and key networks. Hip-hop artist, entrepreneur, and Hooper J. Cole once said, Either you play the game or let the game play you. Education in the form of system insight is the best way to know how the game works. Just like basketball, business and finances are realms with their own rules. With the right system insight, imparted by the right system veteran, you gain financial literacy, system insight, the knowledge and understanding that enables sound financial decision-making and effective management of your finances and business. As such, improved financial literacy contributes to improved financial well-being. If you know how money works, you'll be able to ball out. Furthermore, a system veteran is a business professional with the experience to provide personalized support, sound business advice, and encouragement to help you develop your own abilities and insights. A system veteran's value stems from the fact that they've been there and done that, giving you the opportunity to learn from their mistakes and successes. Just like in the NBA or WNBA, veteran experience is important to anyone who wants to win a championship. Moreover, understanding the game, plays, and how the game is called gives hoopers with the basketball IQ to understand these factors an undeniable advantage. In that same way, your system veteran will coach you and help you be the best that you can be in the business world. When talking about mentorship, Candace Parker shares, I sat down with my financial advisor and he explained to me that when you get to a certain point, it's not stocks and bonds that are going to make your bank. You know, it's having relationships with people that have made billions and it's sitting down and understanding how they handle their money. This is the key to system insight. That said, knowledge is not power. The application of knowledge is power. Your system veteran gives you knowledge in the form of system insight and also shows you how to apply it. They're like your business GPS. Action plan. If your dreams don't match your actions, you can either change your dreams or change your actions. Damian Lillard. An action plan is essential for achieving your goals. 
We will guide you through creating a clear and actionable plan to achieve your basketball and life objectives. In Chapter 5, you'll be introduced to the fifth principle, Action Plan. This is a detailed strategy or course of action, outlining steps that need to be reached to succeed. An action plan is essential for achieving your goals. In basketball and life, having a clear strategic roadmap can make the difference between success and failure. This chapter will guide you through creating an actionable plan to achieve your objectives. Using examples from LeBron James, Angel Reese, Shaquille O'Neal, Russell Westbrook, and Jimmy Butler to illustrate the power of planning. LeBron James is a prime example of how a well-crafted action plan can lead to extraordinary success. From the early stages of his career, LeBron strategically mapped out his journey both on and off the court. His focus on maintaining peak physical condition, studying the game, and aligning himself with influential mentors and partners has paid off immensely. Off the court, LeBron's strategic decisions in business ventures, endorsements, and media have propelled him to billionaire status. His founding of Spring Hill Company, a media conglomerate, and his investment in various businesses reflect a meticulously planned approach to securing his legacy and financial future. Despite being fresh out of college, Angel Reese exemplifies the importance of having a strategic action plan. She carefully outlined her basketball career goals and personal brand strategy from the outset. Reese's ability to plan effectively has significantly increased her NIL, name, image, and likeness value, making her one of the most marketable athletes in college sports. By aligning herself with key endorsements, maintaining a strong social media presence, and continuously improving her game, Reese has laid a solid foundation for her professional career and beyond. Shaquille O'Neal always envisioned himself as more than just a basketball player. Despite discouragement from his marketing professors, Shaq formulated a plan to become an iconic figure on and off the court. His larger-than-life personality combined with strategic business decisions and endorsements has made him a household name. Shaq's investments in franchises like Papa John's, his role in various television shows, and his presence in the entertainment industry are all results of a carefully executed action plan to build and sustain his brand. Russell Westbrook is another example of an athlete who used a strategic action plan to expand his influence beyond basketball. Known for his unique fashion sense, Westbrook made a conscious decision to leverage his style to create a sought-after brand. By wearing bold and extravagant outfits before games and during press conferences, he garnered significant attention on social media. This visibility and credibility in the fashion world led to the successful launch of his own fashion line, solidifying his status as a trendsetter. Jimmy Butler's venture into the coffee business is a testament to the power of a well-thought-out action plan. What originally started as an impromptu bubble playoffs project was brewed into a freshly pressed brand. After the NBA playoffs in Orlando, Butler recruited top experts, developed a premium product, and used his social media buzz to create anticipation and market his brand. By combining his interests with a strategic business plan, Butler has successfully diversified his career and built a premium coffee brand. Without a clear action plan, you're lost without a map. The successes of LeBron James, Angel Reese, Shaquille O'Neal, Russell Westbrook, and Jimmy Butler underscore the importance of strategic planning in achieving your goals. Embrace the power of planning and let your roadmap guide you to your dreams. A goal without an action plan is just a dream. Moreover, planning without execution is wishful thinking. If your system veteran is your GPS, then your action plan is your personalized map. Get help making your action plan and execute that plan. Your hoop dreams for on and off court success may start as a dream, but in order to be fully realized, you must organize that big dream into clear thought and a plan. Once you have your dream and your plan, you can finally implement the plan with action. That's how you turn a dream into reality. If you have big dreams, then you deserve a big action plan to match. You cannot settle when it comes to your future. You need a proposed strategy and course of action to actualize your desires. Think of it this way. If you're driving in an unknown area and don't have a map, you won't get far. Your action plan serves as a blueprint outlining the structure of your desired life. 
It's a design of patterns that will be followed to achieve your desires. Briefly, your action plan must be detailed, and the target end goal and the incremental steps you'll take to get what you need must be outlined. You must believe that each sequence of steps that must be taken is achievable. If you don't believe in your plan, you'll never put it into action. Also, your plan must match the size of your dream, or else there'll be an imbalance between your action and a desired goal. The first step of your action plan is to decide what you want. It seems so easy, but very few people truly define and know what they want. Just decide how much you want to make and what your vision is. Pick a number, any number or an overall target. Do not limit yourself by trying to immediately determine the how, the action plan. You've already established the why, your purpose. Next, figure out the what, your vision and goal. Before anything, you must have a definite goal because there is a psychological advantage to having specific standards and targets. Research has shown time and time again that people who set specific objectives and challenge themselves to obtain a clear vision do better than those who set vague goals or none at all. Kobe Bryant's work ethic was unmatched. Though his sheer effort, discipline, and massive action were popularly admired, his ability to make an action plan was incredibly underrated. I started to see the passion and dedication of entrepreneurs. I related to it because it's how I approach the game every day, said Bryant in an exclusive interview with business media company C-Suite Quarterly, CSQ. Bryant was always a student before he became a teacher. He understood success leaves clues, and he reverse-engineered his success in business by applying the same approach he used on the court to excel in the boardroom. He replicated the same formula in business by seeking out system veterans' mentors and modeling their action plans. Similarly, WNBA hooperneurs Tamika Catchings and Candace Parker often share that they had action plans which they executed diligently in order to gain the business acumen and success they currently enjoy. Catchings has often been heard saying, set a goal and write it down. When Catchings recounts her business journey, she says, when I woke up, that's what I saw her plan, and throughout the day I knew that every single thing that I did would allow me to either get closer or further away from my goal that was posted on my mirror. Recording her goals and making a plan to obtain them has been instrumental to the success of catchings off the court. Ultimately, an action plan describes the way you will achieve your clarified vision. These detailed objectives, which are set in steps, will identify areas where you need to focus your energy. An action plan gives you the strategy to reverse engineer your way to success. Technically, what you're doing is starting with your end goal and tracing your way back to the beginning. In the tech world, reverse engineering begins with the product and works through the design process in the opposite or backwards direction. Basically, that's what you can do with your life. Start with your vision of success, your complete dream, and work backwards to see the steps needed to get you there. The bottom line is that an action plan allows you to measure your journey, keeps you accountable, and clarifies your vision. It probably takes the same amount of time to dream as it does to plan out your vision. You might as well make your action plan and execute your way to success. Discipline Today I know that there is still work to be done, but along the way, I am achieving my dreams. Candace Parker Discipline is the foundation of success. We will discuss the importance of hard work, dedication, and consistency in reaching your fullest potential. In Chapter 6, you'll be introduced to the sixth principle, discipline. This is your ability to rule and govern your behaviors and thoughts in order to conduct specific patterns that are the habit of success. Discipline serves as the bedrock upon which success is built. In this chapter, we delve into the indispensable role of hard work, dedication, and consistency in unlocking your fullest potential. Drawing inspiration from basketball icons like Kobe Bryant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Tim Duncan, we witness firsthand the transformative power of discipline. Kobe Bryant epitomized the essence of discipline, earning the moniker the Black Mamba for his relentless work ethic and unwavering commitment to excellence. Rising before dawn, Bryant would hit the gym at 4 a.m., driven by an insatiable thirst to outwork his competition and continually refine his craft. His legendary Mamba mentality embodied the relentless pursuit of greatness through discipline, setting a standard for aspiring athletes and entrepreneurs alike.
Similarly, Giannis Antetokounmpo's journey from the streets of Athens to NBA superstardom is a testament to the transformative power of discipline. Focused on his singular goal of reaching the NBA, Giannis exhibited unwavering dedication to his craft, often foregoing distractions to hone his skills on the court. Through sheer hard work and determination, he ascended to the pinnacle of basketball, becoming a two-time MVP and NBA champion. For those who appreciate the old-school approach, Tim Duncan, aptly nicknamed the Big Fundamental, exemplified discipline in mastering the fundamentals of the game. Known for his meticulous attention to detail and relentless pursuit of perfection, Duncan's disciplined approach laid the foundation for a legendary career marked by five NBA championships and numerous accolades. These iconic figures demonstrate that discipline knows no bounds and transcends the confines of the basketball court. Whether you're striving for athletic excellence or entrepreneurial success, the principles of hard work, dedication, and consistency remain constant. By translating the same discipline of hard work and execution from the court to the boardroom, you too can chart a course towards unparalleled success. Embrace the ethos of discipline as your guiding light on the path to greatness. Through unwavering commitment, relentless effort, and a steadfast dedication to your goals, you possess the power to unlock your fullest potential and achieve extraordinary heights in basketball, business, and beyond. Discipline is doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done, even when you don't feel like doing it. This focus, willpower, respect, and commitment to your action plan and purpose is the key to the achievement of living to your full potential. Hooperneurs who are disciplined with their daily actions achieve anything that they set their mind to. Focus on your action plan and remain true to it. The practice of training yourself to obey the rules which you have set through your action plan is the foundation of your discipline. You must condition yourself to utilize your energy and effort in a controlled and habitual way. It needs to be second nature, just like your talent is second nature. Discipline brings stability and structure into a hooperneur's life. It allows you to put in the time to refine your skill and become a master at your craft so that you can use it to add value and gain value. Most hoopers without discipline do whatever, whenever, without care of efficiency, productivity, consistency, or accountability. Focus is the center of discipline. Your purpose is the fuel that you can draw your energy from in order to keep focused. You must love what you do in order to have sustainable discipline to execute every day. It should come as no surprise that the most successful hooperneurs in the world are disciplined. Derek Rose once said, All the days that you wake up, you have one job, and that's to get better every single day. This statement embodies the essence of discipline. Succeeding is difficult for many people, not because they lack talent, connections, or resources. A majority of people aren't successful because they lack the discipline to follow through with their action plan. Life can be frustrating, and when it does get overwhelming, most give up. If you want to be a successful hooperneur, you cannot give up, especially during the days you don't feel like putting in work. You have to get out there and grind. There is another parallel between basketball and business. You get out what you put in. Your discipline is essentially your willpower. Discipline is having a heightened degree of self-control and having the ability to consciously spend less time distracting yourself or indulging in behaviors that are detrimental to your success. Most people have good intentions and often great ideas, but too often procrastinate. Some are paralyzed by fear of analysis. Now self-discipline, like everything else, requires practice. Not every day will be perfect, but each day, encompassing failures and small wins, will provide you with progress, and that is the objective of discipline, to allow you to gain incremental success. Discipline is a way of behaving for an internal goal. No one forces you to have discipline. You either choose to commit to working and follow through, or you do not. Hooperneurs who are disciplined are also accountable. This is a sign of maturity and a key indicator of success. According to peak performance consultant Walter Bond, accountability improves results by improving habit, leading to performance improvement and results. When you are able to take ownership of your decisions and the results of your actions, you are accountable. When you're accountable, you define your progress. Excuses harm accountability and create a crutch for underachievers. Being accountable is earning your stripes. Be accountable for everything you do. Discipline is basically your ability to hold the standards you have set through action.
Contrary to common belief, discipline is twofold, both inward and outward. To achieve success, you need to be committed to your vision, inwardly repeating your dream. Also, you must be disciplined and have a positive mindset. Contrastingly, the outward expression of your discipline is action, and the measurement of your action is made through the attainment of results. You are ultimately answerable to yourself and the standards you set. As your hustle develops, you will have a coach or system veteran who will keep you focused on your promise and objectives as your purpose continues to drive your ambition. Execution Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. Michael Jordan Execution is key to turning your dreams into reality. We will explore how to execute your plans effectively and efficiently. In Chapter 7, you'll be introduced to the seventh principle, execution. The carrying out or putting into effect of a plan, order, or course of action. This is the meticulous implementation and operation of an action plan. Execution stands as the linchpin between dreams and reality. In this chapter, we delve into the pivotal role of effective and efficient execution in transforming aspirations into tangible achievements. Through the stories of NBA players who exemplify exceptional execution both on and off the court, we uncover invaluable insights into the art of turning vision into action. Stephen Curry's precision on the basketball court extends far beyond his unparalleled shooting prowess. Renowned for his meticulous attention to detail and relentless work ethic, Curry approaches every aspect of his game with a commitment to excellence. Off the court, Curry's disciplined approach to execution is evident in his business ventures. From the launch of his SC30 brand to his involvement in philanthropic initiatives, Curry's methodical execution has propelled him to success beyond the hardwood, solidifying his status as a global icon. Dwayne Wade's seamless transition from NBA superstar to successful entrepreneur epitomizes the essence of effective execution. Following his illustrious basketball career, Wade wasted no time in leveraging his platform and passion to pursue ventures off the court. From founding fashion brands like Way of Wade to investing in tech startups and media ventures, Wade's ability to execute with precision and foresight has positioned him as a force to be reckoned with in the business world. His commitment to excellence and unwavering focus on execution serve as a blueprint for aspiring athletes turned entrepreneurs. Chris Paul's mastery of control on the basketball court mirrors his strategic execution in business endeavors. Known for his exceptional decision-making and leadership skills on the court, Paul seamlessly translates these qualities into his off-court pursuits. As the president of the NBA Players Association, Paul navigates complex negotiations and represents the interests of his fellow players with finesse and precision. His ability to execute strategic plans with clarity and purpose has earned him respect both on and off the court, solidifying his legacy as a true leader in basketball and business. LeBron James' unparalleled ability to execute plays on the basketball court translates seamlessly into his off-court ventures. From his media company, Spring Hill Entertainment, to his philanthropic initiatives through the LeBron James Family Foundation, James approaches every endeavor with a commitment to excellence and impact. His strategic execution of business plans, combined with his relentless pursuit of social justice and community empowerment, underscores his status as a true visionary and executor of change. Execution is not merely about taking action, it's about doing it right or not at all. By emulating the precision, dedication, and strategic foresight of NBA players like Stephen Curry, Dwyane Wade, Chris Paul, and LeBron James, you can unlock the power of effective execution in both basketball and life. With a relentless commitment to excellence and a steadfast focus on turning vision into reality, you too can achieve extraordinary success on and off the court. Execution is the strategic implementation of a defined course of action and the true catalyst to achieving wealth and success. This means knowledge is not power, but the application of knowledge is power. Big dreams don't make hooperneurs successful. Strategic implementation does. Execute your action plan with militaristic discipline and precision. Execution is never perfect right from the start, but as long as you stay focused on the vision and put in the work, you will achieve your dreams. The fact of the matter is that hustle and execution is given to everyone, but not everyone uses it. We are all given 24 hours a day, regardless of our cultural background, economic status, education, etc. 
Your ability to execute is the X factor most underappreciated by underachievers. The reality is that most people become complacent and aren't willing to put in the extra work, the long hours, late nights, and early mornings after their regular job in order to achieve their desired objective. The blend of execution, massive action, and discipline is more powerful than intellect and any natural gift that anyone could have. Any hooperneur who truly wants to be successful needs to understand the importance of mastering execution. It is not as complicated or as deep as some people may make it out to be. Being able to execute means being able to do so with preciseness. Hooperneurs who have great execution become very wealthy and influential because their strategic action and implementation of their action plan eventually give them results. Most importantly, their actions over time give them experience. Those who work harder and put in the time, particularly when they are tired and don't have the will to go on, are the real ballers who achieve big-time success. Execution is having an unrelenting will to employ a specific course of action. If you are unable to execute when times are tough, and you have no money or support, then you won't become successful at all. Execution is best evaluated when you have nothing because there is no bailout. If you don't execute, then you lose. Gary Vaynerchuk often says, it's about execution. To Gary V, execution is a fascinating conversation because he has a real perspective. Some of the greatest entrepreneurs in the world didn't necessarily start out with a grand vision. They started with an idea and carried out with action. Gary V goes on to say, vision means nothing if you don't take action, but always let your action inform your vision because at the end of the day, the strategy is the strategy until it's not. When you come from the bottom and have suffered for a long period of time, going through more struggle is not appealing. The anger inside wanting to get you out of your tough situation should be enough to make you execute. Putting in the work as you drew it up on your action plan. Executing means you are able to lock in and do what you need to do for an extended period of time until you get favorable results. That's how you become a self-made hooperneur. You execute. One thing to remember, however, is that execution doesn't necessarily mean perfection, but deliberate implementation of whatever the plan is. A great strategy alone won't ensure the achievement of our desires. The accomplishment of our objectives comes from the basic implementation of daily action. Hooperneurs with big vision need to accomplish the mundane, day-to-day -day execution of their plan in order to actualize their vision. Stay connected to your purpose and execute. Business mogul Irvin Magic Johnson has experienced success on and off the court. When sharing his success secrets, he mentioned, I'm a worker and I hire workers. I also hire people who are smarter than I am. I set the vision and they buy into that vision. Then we work until we get it done. As he echoes the sentiments of other successful hooperneurs, Magic reaffirms the importance of execution. Having an action plan ensures that you are being smart with your time and energy. Ty Lopez, investor, entrepreneur, and author, shares that working harder doesn't always equate to results or happiness if you're just being busy but not productive. It's not a badge of honor. That's not to say, however, that you should avoid it, but rather know when to work hard versus when to work smart. Lopez suggests that working hard should be used to help you get to the point where you can work smart. Briefly, employ maximum effort in an efficient way. That's why you have an action plan to determine where your action will go. Massive action. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Kevin Durant. Dream big, hustle hard. We will talk about taking massive action to achieve extraordinary results in basketball and in life. In Chapter 8, you'll be introduced to the eighth principle. Massive action. This is a high level of activity, a consistent output of effort, whereby exceeding productivity determines high results. Dream big, hustle hard. In this chapter, we explore the transformative power of taking massive action to achieve extraordinary results in basketball and in life. Through the inspiring stories of NBA owners and players who epitomize the ethos of big dreams and big hustle, we uncover the indomitable spirit that propels individuals to greatness. As majority owners of the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Liberty, Joe Tsai and Clara Wu Tsai embody the spirit of visionary leadership and relentless determination. With a big vision for the Liberty, the Tsai spearheaded transformative changes within the organization, investing not only in the team's success on the court, but also in fostering a culture of excellence and empowerment off the court. 
their commitment to providing premier stadiums, facilities, and experiences for players has yielded significant results, culminating in the Liberty's resurgence as a force to be reckoned with in the WNBA. Mark Davis's unwavering dedication to his vision for the Las Vegas Aces exemplifies the power of big dreams and big hustle. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles, Davis remained steadfast in his pursuit of excellence, investing considerable time, effort, and resources into building a championship-caliber team and franchise. His tireless commitment to realizing his dreams has transformed the Aces into a formidable contender in the WNBA, serving as a testament to the transformative impact of massive action. Matt Barnes's journey from underrated underdog to respected NBA champion epitomizes the essence of big dreams and big hustle. Despite facing adversity and setbacks throughout his career, Barnes refused to be defined by others' perceptions, instead choosing to channel his relentless work ethic and determination into achieving his goals. His tenacity and resilience on the court translated seamlessly into success off the court, as Barnes leveraged his platform to advocate for social justice and empower underserved communities. Patrick Beverly's path to NBA stardom is a testament to the transformative power of Big Hustle. Undrafted out of college and overlooked by many, Beverly refused to let his circumstances dictate his destiny. Through sheer grit, determination, and an unwavering commitment to outworking his opponents, Beverly carved out a niche for himself as one of the league's premier defenders and leaders. His relentless hustle and never-say-die attitude serve as an inspiration to aspiring athletes everywhere. Jimmy Butler's ascent from homeless teenager to NBA All-Star is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of big dreams and big hustle. Despite facing unimaginable challenges and adversity early in life, Butler refused to succumb to despair, instead choosing to channel his energy into basketball as a means of escape and empowerment. Through relentless dedication, discipline, and a refusal to accept mediocrity, Butler transformed himself into one of the league's most feared competitors, both on and off the court. In conclusion, big dreams and big hustles are the catalysts for achieving extraordinary results in basketball and in life. Whether it's NBA owners like Joe Tsai, Clara Wu Tsai, and Mark Davis, or players like Matt Barnes, Patrick Beverly, and Jimmy Butler, the common thread that binds them is their unwavering commitment to taking massive action in pursuit of their dreams. By embracing the ethos of big dreams and big hustle, you too can unleash your full potential and achieve greatness beyond measure. Dream big, hustle hard, and watch as your aspirations become reality. Massive action equals massive results. In life, you reap what you sow. That being said, there's a difference between being busy and being productive. In order to secure the bag, you must put in extra work and employ massive action in a strategic way at scale. In order to activate massive effort, you need to hustle with a purpose. When you hustle simply for yourself, for your own personal gain, your mind and effort will not rise above the limitations of the common. When you have a purpose, your mind transcends limitations. Your consciousness expands in every direction, and you find the strength to push past any obstacle. Attaining your ultimate desire and succeeding in your pursuits requires a tremendous amount of action. In fact, it requires more action than the status quo because to live the life that most people only dream of, you have to put in the work that most people never dream of. The common folk are not willing to go to extra lengths to actualize their dreams. The reason we say actualizing your dream is because you need to act in order for your dreams to be realized. This is the tough reality of life. A hooperneur who values massive action is Jamal Mashburn, the NBA business tycoon. Mashburn has stated that he started out as someone with interest beyond basketball. His ambitions were motivated by his unwavering mission to debunk the stereotype of athletes who are just jocks. Mashburn prefers to think of his hooperneurism as something he's falling forward into, rather than something that he fell back on. I put in the time and effort, he said when asked about the catalyst to his success. Most will dream of the big things, but very few will get uncomfortable and do what it takes to achieve the big dream by employing massive action. Taking massive action means employing abnormal amounts of focus, action, and energy towards the accomplishment of your objective. To hooperneurs, one is greater than zero. In other words, one step gets you closer to your goal than none. Imagine how much closer you'd get to your goal if you multiplied your efforts.
When you strategically exert an enormous amount of energy into your purpose and action plan, you will subsequently reap exponential growth. Those who do not believe this have never actually endeavored to strategically employ massive action towards fulfilling their purpose. Any hoopreneur in the world who's ever accomplished a great feat has done so by putting forth an exhausting amount of effort in comparison to most. When you hustle, you take matters into your own hands and equate your success to your own efforts. You are fully accountable for the results, or the lack thereof, due to your efforts. To take massive action means doing far more than the average person would do under the same or similar conditions over a particular period. In fact, it means to go further than anyone would typically expect of you or of anyone else. If anyone can vouch for the life-changing effect of massive action, it would be Grant Cardone, speaker, real estate mogul, and investor. Cardone often talks about how massive action directly results in accomplishing any entrepreneur's success goal. Cardone suggests that most people operate with only three degrees of non-cation, action, retreat, or normal action. That said, if you're after big goals, you don't want to settle for the ordinary action. You must set targets that are ten times what you think you want, and then do ten times what you think it will take to accomplish those targets. Simply put, if you do more, you'll get more. The concept of taking massive action simply means that you commit to taking action until you get your desired results. This sounds deceptively simple, but do not underestimate how impactful it can be when put into practice. I will say with some amount of confidence that I have an idea of what massive action doesn't look like. It doesn't look like working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Otherwise, it would be called non-stop action. Massive action requires you to actually do something something that will move you toward your goals in a meaningful way. Echoing the notion of massive action, Michael Jordan has said, I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Jordan did more, and that's why he got more results. Another legend on and off the court, whose natural inclination is to do more, is the late Kobe Bryant. In one of his most iconic commercials, Kanye West asks Kobe, how much more do you want from me? During the dialogue, Bryant replies, saying, More. Faith. Hard work isn't enough. You gotta believe. Derek Rose. Believe in yourself and your abilities. We will discuss the role of faith and confidence in achieving your goals. In Chapter 9, you'll be introduced to the ninth principle, faith. The optimistic state of mind is founded on an unwavering expectation of positive outcomes with respect to your life. This is the complete trust in a higher power and the confidence in greatness and good timing over your life. Ultimately, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Believe in yourself and your abilities. In this chapter, we explore the profound role of faith and confidence in achieving your goals. Through the inspiring stories of NBA players and figures who exemplify unwavering belief in the face of doubt and adversity, we uncover the transformative power of faith. Mark Jackson's bold prediction about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson being the greatest shooting backcourt of all time epitomizes the essence of faith. Despite facing skepticism and ridicule, Jackson remained steadfast in his belief, laying the foundation for what would eventually become a dynasty in Golden State. His unwavering faith in the abilities of Curry and Thompson paved the way for their unprecedented success and multiple championships serving as a testament to the power of foresight and belief. Isaiah Thomas's resilience and unwavering self-belief in the face of adversity exemplify the transformative power of faith. Despite enduring setbacks and doubters throughout his career, Thomas refused to let others define his destiny. Through sheer determination and an unshakable faith in himself, Thomas overcame insurmountable odds to secure a spot on an NBA roster proving his critics wrong and showcasing the enduring power of belief. Giannis Antetokounmpo's journey from unheralded prospect to NBA champion is a testament to the transformative power of faith. Despite facing skepticism and doubt early in his career, Giannis remained unwavering in his belief in himself and his team. Through hard work, perseverance, and an unshakable faith in his abilities, Giannis led the Milwaukee Bucks to their first NBA championship in 49 years, cementing his legacy as one of the game's greatest players and proving that anything is possible with faith.
Chris Bosch's resilience in the face of adversity serves as a powerful example of the transformative power of faith. Despite a career-threatening health scare that forced him to retire prematurely, Bosch refused to succumb to despair. Through unwavering faith in himself and the support of his loved ones, Bosch found a new purpose off the court, pursuing endeavors in philanthropy and advocacy. His unwavering belief in the power of faith to overcome obstacles serves as an inspiration to all who face adversity. Derek Rose's journey of redemption and resilience in the face of adversity showcases the unwavering power of faith. Despite enduring multiple career-threatening injuries, Rose refused to let setbacks define his legacy. Through unwavering faith in his abilities and a relentless commitment to overcoming obstacles, Rose persevered, reclaiming his rightful place among the NBA's elite. His unwavering belief in himself and his journey serves as a testament to the enduring power of faith to overcome adversity and achieve greatness. In conclusion, faith is the driving force behind extraordinary achievement in basketball and in life. Whether it's Mark Jackson's visionary foresight, Isaiah Thomas's defiance of the odds, Giannis Antetokounmpo's triumph over doubt, Chris Bosch's resilience in the face of adversity, or Derek Rose's journey of redemption, the common thread that binds them is their unwavering belief in themselves and their abilities. By walking by faith and not by sight, you too can overcome obstacles, defy expectations, and achieve greatness beyond measure. Believe in yourself, trust the process, and watch as your faith transforms your dreams into reality. You need to have conviction and unwavering belief in your hustle and your purpose. Optimism is the invisible wave frequency that can shift your momentum and change your life. By now, you know that your mindset delivers frequencies and your thoughts magnetize the reality that you choose to believe in. Your individual vibrations are determined by your thoughts and feelings. When you think of something and are deeply connected to it emotionally, you are transmitting these frequencies. Through your attitude and approach to life, your consciousness permeates your mind and determines your behavior and habits. And like a human transmission tower, we magnetically attract things of the same frequency. In short, like attracts like, and we attract things, people, and circumstances that are of a similar vibration or frequency as ourselves. That said, faith is much more than a scientific articulation of frequencies, energy, and thought. To us, faith means putting your trust in God. Whatever your life purpose is, believe it will be done and have faith that God's got you. Tamika Catchings, entrepreneur and speaker, often affirms the power of faith. She once said, Basketball chose me, but God had even bigger plans. No matter what, know that your purpose is bigger than what you could ever imagine. Faith is you trusting the highest power there is, God, to connect the dots where you can't. This is the X factor you cannot control, the intangible aspect of life. Like it or not, life is natural and supernatural, physical and spiritual. Dismissing the impact of faith in your life would reduce your purpose, your being, and your existence to mere happenstance. Self-help author and success coach Napoleon Hill said this about faith. Faith is the head chemist of the mind. When faith is blended with the vibration of thought, the subconscious mind instantly picks up the vibration, translates it into its spiritual equivalent, and transmits it to infinite intelligence, as in the case of prayer. The faith you have creates the reality you live in, Whatever your mindset believes or conceives, you will attract. Whatever your soul affirms, you will be. If you are positive throughout your hustle, then the law of attraction is the law of nature which will connect the happenstantial dots that are out of your control for the odds to favor you. Indeed, your action, the physical aspect of you putting effort into something, is as impartial and as predictable as the law of gravity. If you do work, you'll get results. Similarly, what goes up must come down. That said, your faith deals with your principles, your moral character, your purpose, and the aspect of bawling out that goes beyond material things. Remember, the law of attraction doesn't distinguish between good or bad thoughts, and it doesn't recognize whether you want or don't want something. It simply delivers what you are thinking about and acts towards most persistently. If you are positive and committed to your action plan, then your results will reflect your thoughts and actions. Most people don't get what they want because they focus more on what they don't want and refuse to put in extraordinary efforts to obtain what they desire. Moreover, 
those who thoughtlessly put in the effort and achieve their goals without faith, are empty inside. In Indeed, we have thousands of thoughts every day that rush our minds. However, the key is to focus only on those that matter, those that will impact our hustle and life in a positive way. It's not possible to control all our thoughts, but it is possible to control our emotions and choose to see the good in everything, regardless of how difficult this may be in particular situations. It is possible to trust that good exists in the world. Jeremy Lin, entrepreneur and philanthropist, never fails to share the impact of his faith in God through struggles. When sharing his beliefs during an intimate interview, Lin said, we should be humble and understand that everything that is good comes from God. Faith enables you to overcome every obstacle in your path towards success. Faith is the most important ingredient to success. When you have faith, all things are possible. Inasmuch as faith equals belief and certainty that what you want can come true, inasmuch as belief and faith strengthen your motivation to act and do things, it helps you maintain the positive attitude necessary for success. We would be remiss to express that faith is just about your belief in good. When you apply your faith in yourself, your faith in those around you, and your faith in God, the result is love. When you trust in the infinite intelligence of the universe, God, your thoughts and deeds will ultimately lead to being good and doing good. Wellness. You don't have to be the best, but you have to be your best. Skylar Diggins Smith. Lastly, we will emphasize the importance of self-care and wellness, both physical and mental, to maintain peak performance on and off the court. Map. Finally, in Chapter 10, you'll be introduced to the 10th principle, wellness. This is your well-being physically, mentally, and spiritually. The state of being in good health, of being comfortable and happy. In this chapter, we delve into the critical principle of wellness, emphasizing the importance of self-care in maintaining peak performance both on and off the court. Through the inspiring examples of NBA players and coaches who prioritize their physical and mental well-being, we uncover the transformative power of holistic wellness. LeBron James stands as a prime example of prioritizing wellness, investing heavily in his body and mind to sustain his unparalleled performance. With an annual expenditure of over a million dollars on his physical upkeep, LeBron demonstrates an unwavering commitment to maintaining peak physical condition. Moreover, his dedication extends beyond the physical realm as he places equal emphasis on mental well-being through mindfulness practices and mental conditioning, ensuring he remains mentally sharp and resilient in the face of challenges. Javal McGee's transformation through wellness serves as a testament to the profound impact of prioritizing physical and mental health. By adopting a plant-based diet and embracing holistic wellness practices, McGee revitalized his career and achieved newfound success on the court. His commitment to nourishing his body and soul underscores the importance of holistic wellness in unlocking one's full potential. Phil Jackson's coaching philosophy, rooted in mindfulness and spiritual growth, revolutionized the approach to wellness in basketball. By incorporating meditation and spiritual practices into his coaching regimen, Jackson empowered his players to cultivate mental resilience and spiritual clarity, thereby enhancing their performance on the court and their overall well-being off the court. His holistic approach to coaching not only garnered him 11 championships, but also fostered a culture of wellness and self-care among his players. Chris Paul's commitment to balancing body and mind exemplifies the importance of holistic wellness in achieving sustained success. Through a combination of physical conditioning, mental training, and mindfulness practices, Paul has maintained peak performance throughout his career, remaining a perennial all-star and influential leader both on and off the court. His dedication to holistic wellness serves as a model for aspiring athletes seeking to maximize their potential. In conclusion, wellness is a cornerstone of peak performance in basketball and in life. Whether it's LeBron James' investment in body and mind, JaVale McGee's transformation through holistic wellness, Phil Jackson's emphasis on mindfulness and spiritual growth, or Chris Paul's commitment to balancing body and mind, the message is clear. Prioritizing self-care and wellness is essential for achieving sustained success and fulfillment. By taking care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually, you can unlock your full potential and thrive both on and off the court. Wellness is not just about feeling good. It is much more than that and involves full integration of our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Wellness includes social, emotional, spiritual, environmental, occupational, intellectual, and physical states of harmony, 
Each of these dimensions acts, interacts, and significantly contributes to our quality of life. Social wellness is the ability to maintain, connect, interact with, and contribute to the common welfare of others in your world rather than think only of yourself. This means your emotional intelligence and empathy. Emotional wellness is the ability to understand yourself and others and cope with the challenges that life can and will always bring. Bottom line, it is your ability to acknowledge and share feelings. No. Being emotionally well involves the ability to have an optimistic approach to life and inner peace. This is also connected to your psychology or mental health. Similarly, spiritual wellness is the ability to establish peace and harmony in your life with God and all of His creations. The ability to be morally upright and operate at a higher consciousness. In comparison, while spiritual wellness deals with matters of the soul, physical wellness is all about your body's health, keeping fit, being active, and maintaining a healthy diet. This means having a body that is in good shape to allow the possibility of a long and happy life. Wellness must be approached holistically in order for you to gain its full benefits. LeBron James, for instance, spends $1.5 million on his body every year. LeBron spends this enormous sum of money not only to maintain his physique, but also to sustain his mental fitness and overall well-being. As a hooppreneur, wellness must be at the top of your priority list. Your daily routine must involve taking good care of your entire self. Your wellness is the sum of all the choices you make that are responsible for the quality of your life. Every day, you have the opportunity to make conscious decisions to achieve a healthy lifestyle. You must discipline yourself to make the right decision every day. The end goal is happiness. That may sound like fluff, but it's not. Mind you, the happiness expressed here is not synonymous with entitlement and greed. This is being happy in the sense of having inner peace and being in harmony with your mind, body, soul, and surroundings. There is nothing more important than happiness and well-being. Princeton psychologist Dr. Martin Seligman has done countless studies on positive psychology. His work has shown that wellness can predict longevity. In experiment after experiment, emotional health and happiness were found to be major predictors of physical health and length of life. Research indicates that people who have emotional well-being are more productive, learn more, and earn more money. Yes, really. Even after factoring out variables such as socioeconomic status and cultural and educational background, the results showed that people who take care of their wellness holistically live longer and happier lives. When it comes to healthy living, Javela McGee is no stranger to the lifestyle. McGee attributes his on- and off-court success to his focus on wellness. From good nutrition to a sound mind, Javeli preaches the benefits of conscious, healthy living. Sometimes I scare myself on how much energy I have, he said. I can't get sleep. I'm like, what's going on? I'm supposed to be tired. This is the power of prioritizing your wellness in your life. Company story. Social media lacked a platform for hoopers and basketball fans to engage in the entrepreneurial facets of hoop culture. So, we launched Hooperneur, a hub for hooperneurs, to enjoy hoop culture from an entrepreneurial lens. From the courts to the boardrooms of the world, the mindset of those with hustle is always in fourth quarter mode. Hoopers and basketball fans who appreciate entrepreneurship and hoop culture understand the parallel between both disciplines. Entrepreneurship, like hoops, is not just a game, it's a lifestyle. That's why we celebrate Hoopreneurs through media that embodies the essence of balling out. It's our privilege to create content for winners. If you're a Hooper or basketball fan who loves entrepreneurship and enjoys the parallels between basketball and business, then you're a Hoopreneur. Join the winning franchise and celebrate hoop culture from the court to the boardroom. Stay connected by following at Hooperneur on social media. For Hooperneur merch, visit Hooperneur.com. This has been Ball Out. Mastering entrepreneurship through hoop culture. An entrepreneurial blueprint for hoopers and basketball enthusiasts. Written by Emmanuel Bope. Edited by Solange Bope. Read for you by Tim. Copyright 2024 by Hooperneur Inc. The End.